Devil Survivor 2 for Nintendo DS is the sequel to the award-winning Devil Survivor, a new spin-off of Atlas's flagship Shin Megami Tensei series of role-playing games. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the innovative hybrid RPG-SRPG combat that has come to define the subseries. One of the most unique aspects of the Devil Survivor games is how battles blend two traditional RPG archetypes, a grid-based SRPG map layout and first-person turn-based encounters. It may be difficult to grasp how these two systems are related, but we'll do our best to break it down in this tutorial. The player takes control of up to four teams in a battle. Each team consists of a human leader and two supporting demons. People you can recruit during your journey have varying strengths and weaknesses, mainly dictated by their stat gains as they level. So you will want to team the leader up with demons that'll complement their strengths and negate their weaknesses for optimal effect. True to RPG form, Devil Survivor 2 is all about skill. Race skills, utility skills, and battle skills. Each type has its own time and place to shine. Race skills are applicable when the player is controlling characters on the grid. Some will increase a team's mobility, while others provide benefits in an encounter. Utility skills are incredibly versatile because they can be used both on the grid map and during encounters. On the field view, the range of these skills is limited to yourself and the unit one space away from you, so making sure a character with a lot of these utility skills has a high mobility would be most prudent. If you use a utility skill in the middle of an encounter, it will still be possible to use it before or after the fight too, essentially doubling the effectiveness of the skill. The majority of the skills that players will learn and use fall into the category of battle skills. These can only be used during an encounter, and fall into the category of offensive spells. Spells like Augie will hit the opponent with fire magic, while Mare and Karen charms your foes so they'll attack each other instead. Devil Survivor would not be an SMT game if it didn't include a high-risk, high-reward system for its battles revolving around elemental weaknesses, and this game is no exception. Devil Survivor 2 employs a mechanic known as extra turns to achieve this effect. Each first-person encounter that takes place in DS2 usually only lasts for one turn before returning to the map. However, extra turns will give your team another chance to act during each of these encounters, doubling the advantage a team gets. So how does the player get a wide variety of skills so that they can take advantage of the extra turns mechanic? This is where another important mechanic, skill cracking, comes into play. At the start of battle, the player will be able to assign each team leader to go crack a skill from the enemy. Once that leader's team defeats the targeted enemy, the skill is added to your party's skill pool, and you can assign it to any of your leaders. Devil Survivor 2 has added a twist to this formula by including joint skill cracks. Once the player has spoken to the other characters in his party and formed what are called fate bonds with them, both the protagonist and the character will be able to crack the skill, doubling your chances of a successful skill crack. Furthering your fate with the other characters will eventually allow the protagonist to be able to swap demons with his fellow leaders at will. We hope this video has taught you the basics of the battle system. Be sure to pick up your copy of Devil Survivor 2, now available at participating retailers.